what is going on my fishing friends we are down here in loretto and your gringo is freezing cold it was 45 to 46 degrees last night so we got a little bit of a late start but we're gonna go take the paddleboard out because it's gonna be the one calm day all week and we're gonna go look for some yellowtail some rooster fish maybe some big snapper i don't know i just want to go down on the water we've been sitting in town all week so let's get on the water and get some fishing done A little yellowtail hang love hanging out with you guys. A little uh senoritas or whatever they are. Super super steep bank. This gets deep off the side. It drops down to 40, 50 feet pretty easily. It's like primo, especially you got all the little bait here. That seems like it would be a very, very good spot. All right, let's see what else we can get on. That was super deep out here, so there's gotta be a big drop off, which is great. Perfect, that's exactly what we need. And I need the wind to die. This weird southern wind is not ideal. Oh, we just got wrecked, we just got wrecked. Oh, we're on right now. Oh, God. Oh, yes. This is either got to be a big yellow or a rooster. Oh, my God. Oh. Here goes the sleigh ride. Woo. GoPro, start recording. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh, banging. <laughs> Woo. sitting here like looking for the deeper drops and because I have no fish finder nothing so we're just out blind casting and uh setting up messing around and we just got ripped on the drop Ooh. Ooh. Oh. definitely gotta be a yellow unless there's a rooster down there oh, I'm gonna be down in Cabo in like an hour if, uh, if anybody wants to get me I'll be there in about an hour at this rate. Oh, come on. Every time I get an inch, it, it takes feet. I mean, you see my rod, this is a, like up to six ounce rod and it is doubled. You know, my line is damn near touching the rod. Man. Whew. Oh, come on, come on. I don't want to put too much pressure and lose it. Just trying to get line when I can and look at, even see what it is. Oh God, this fish ate his Wheaties this morning for sure. More than I did. All right guys, we are down on one knee because uh, this fish is kicking my butt. I'm just, I mean, the rod is bent over. I've got the butt into my stomach. And I'm not gaining anything. I'm not stuck. You can see, you know, watch my tip just bouncing around. Oh, but I, I've, I've never seen color yet. It is just mean. It is super, super mean, whatever it is. Oh, 12 and a half minutes in, and that fish just took feet of line off the reel. No, oh, no, stop taking line. Ah, uh, freaking. Ooh. It's just, just pulling line like no like, like like it just got hooked it's still pulling freaking line 17 minutes in i've got seven percent battery left no color all 
All right, guys, the chest GoPro just died 18 minutes in. We're gonna stand up, I think, and just try to, just try to get this thing in. Whoa. Or maybe see it down there. I don't know. I can't, I can't see anything. Give me some line, give me some line, come on. Give me some line, come on fish. Be tired, be tired. Give me a little bit of line. Oh, we're pulling on it a little bit. We're getting, we're getting somewhere. I think we're getting somewhere. I think it's gonna start doing circles, be tired. Oh, we're, we're making a little bit, come on. Come on, come on, come on. It's trying, it's still trying. But I think it's about, I think we might have got him tired out. Just come up. This thing has not stopped pulling once. We're now 22 minutes in and it's never stopped, not once. It's been pulling drag every inch that I get, it is taken back. And it's just towing me in circles right here and I'm bobbing up and down. I, I've lost hope that, I'll, that I'll ever see it. I think something's gonna have to give on this fish. I see it, it's a ginormous yellow tail. Oh my God. This is working that 36 pounder last time. Ginormous, ginormous yellow tail. Oh, 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 absolutely insane. I can see it. Oh. We got color, it's maybe 20 feet down. Oh, oh my gosh. It is a beast. It is huge, huge. I don't know how to grab this thing anymore. You know, freaking uh, 36er was one thing. This guy's, oh, I, I can't, I can't, I don't know how to do this. Uh, come here, come here. Uh, 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 we're about to lose it, we're about to lose it, we're about to lose it, we're about to lose it. I can't get a hand in his gills to do anything. We're paddling short for a photo of this thing. For sure. Okay guys, we have a, I have marks on my board. To figure out how long fish are, but they stop at 30. This one's 30, so let's get this fish. Lined up. So that's 30, 30 inches, right? Uh, let's see if we can make five inches. So that's five, 35, 40, about 42 inches to the fork. We'll say 42 and a half inches to the fork. Look at that tank. That's 40 pound yellow for freaking sure. yellow that was a freaking tank of a fish that is probably my biggest yellow tail any normal person would be like well let's just go back that was a pretty good fish I think we're done for the day not I guys we're getting back out there and we're gonna go catch some dang big fish let's get back to fishing All right. not the target you're looking for triggers or whatever. Lots of something cruising around here. I can't quite see them. If I go slow, maybe I will. They almost look like mackerel or bonito or something. It could be big ballyhoo. I don't know. They just don't want to be anywhere near me, though.
<laughs> Big ballyhoo. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Let's see. Boop. Oh, there we go. That's fish. That's fish. That's probably another yellow. Definitely a yellow. Oh, definitely a yellow. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh, we're going backwards. Oh shoot. We're going we'll get the bow. We're just turning. Oh, that's definitely a yellow. <laughs> and he is super angry. All right, we're just gonna crank this one down a little bit. I don't wanna do another, I don't know, 30 minute fight like the last one. Oh, yeah, I hit it. It felt like a hit or something. I like kind of something tapped the jig. So I just took the reel and just did those, like if you're fishing a surface iron, you kind of get that cadence going. So the jig kicks out a little bit more and he came up and smacked it. Yep, that's a yellow tail. Ooh, that's take me out. Let's go for a ride. Just be like a, so much better if it was like a 15 pound yellowtail, not like a 30 plus. I was hoping for a 10 to, you know, maybe 15 pound yellowtail. We got another like, I don't know, he's maybe 30. Oh. Take him to the beach, share some fish with everybody. Good thing I anchored my rods down right there. Because that one would have been gone. Pulled that guy out of the strap for sure. And uh, if he flopped again, I would have definitely lost a finger. All right, now I don't have a get a hook out quick. I don't have a knife with me, so we're just gonna go and rip a couple gills and he'll bleed out on the way back. All right, guys, we just cut up the old fish. Gave it to a bunch of people right on the beach right here, so they're super pumped. I'm gonna cut this up and we're gonna make some ceviche. I'm super excited, so we're gonna do thin strips. It's gonna be a little bit different than uh, normal where you do chunks of these thin strips. When we make the ceviche, all you gotta do is cut some limes. Squeeze them in. All right, we're gonna just stick the pickled onions in now. So I got these guys, I made them back at camp a couple days ago. It's just really, really nice. Could toss a good handful of these in, maybe one or two of the jalapenos in there. We're gonna let it marinate for a good 30 minutes at least. And then um, pull out the salsas. And you just kind of hand pick away. So let's get this, uh, let this marinate. And I'll catch you guys back out in about 30 minutes. I'm going to go wash the board, clean some gear, and get after it. Pumped on this. Second to last step is we're going to take a little hatch chili. This guy's a little bit old, but still going to work out fine. I'm going to cut a couple small slices, some hatch chili. This has been uh, sitting in the marinade now with the pickled onion and, and uh, lime juice for about 30 minutes. I'm gonna take, uh, oh, I don't know, however many slices of uh, good hatch chili you want. I use hatch, you could use jalapeno. I use the uh, hatch because it's less spice because I am a gringo. I can't handle heat. Alrighty guys, the time has come. You get your salsa, we got a little salsa picante negra. Everything's nice and aged in there. Pack that, get your little fork here, get a little piece of pepper, a little piece of onion, one piece of fish. Get it going. Throw a little bit of salsa on there. Oh! Friggin' ceviche on the beach in Baja. 
fish we caught like an hour ago. Tis the life, my friends. Tis the life. Make sure you stick around because we're going to go hit Mag Bay after this. Thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe button. And I will see you guys next time out on the water.